as you can see right here, this particular item has a price and then also a sales price. Uh, and it had been my uh, understanding for many data feeds that enter a sales price for, uh, well, say if we were to view this item on our site, we have a sales price and a list price. Um, for whatever reason, that's just how it is. Um, so I inputted that data into the data feeds with that in mind. Um, but I've discovered something interesting, and that's if I look at that, this item in, a, um, in Google product search, and it, when it does the, the bulk listing with all the other competitors, note here everyone's got that sales price, which is, happens to all be the same because it's a minimum allowed price. I'm listing my, 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 my regular price, not my sale price. Actually, in you know, two different stores, I'm doing the same thing. And here's budget commercial mailboxes as well. Um, so I dug into it, and I thought, well, you know, I must have some configuration wrong that's feeding this price instead. Uh, but as we saw, um, this is in my Google Merchant account back end. This is, um, that's not the case, right? I am feeding the sales price, but it's just not showing up. Turns out if I do an exact search for this uh, item, uh, Google does me the favor of presenting my exact page, uh, and it has my my good price. Interesting enough, right? Um, this right here happens to be a different item. Uh, look at naming it slightly different. That would probably help. Um, but so what I found is I this article right here, uh, or just the merchant notes from Google talking about sales price, and that's sales price should only be used. Um, well, pretty much use sales price as if you're running a sale, not just as your, not just as I use sales price on my on my homepage or on my product listings. And if you're going to use sales price, you have to use or you should use this an effective date, which I was not feeding. So, uh, I'm assuming because of the lack of effective date, it wasn't even generating sales price, or somewhere it was tied in there. But no need to for me to get into the details too much of why what I did. Do and which will solve the problem uh, I'm, I'm predicting is that I'm loading up my the price that I'm selling on a day-to-day -day basis uh, as the price. Um, effectively, scroll down here. Let's see, well, I don't have it here, but actually, there's a field. Well, it was on this page right here. So I'm loading my day-to-day -day for sell price into the price field. Okay, it will completely eliminate even the need for a sales price because technically I'm not running sales. This is my price that I sell for on a day-to-day -day basis. If I run a short-term sale, I can feed the sales price with the effective date, and it should solve this problem. Um, something uh, that I didn't know, now I know, and um, I'm going to check my other feeds to see if the other data feeds are doing the same thing. Uh, certainly hope uh, and suspect this will even help me get more uh, Google Shopping traffic, which I'm always happy with because uh, it does feed very nice traffic.